What is up guys, Mr. Lee Rem here and welcome back to episode number one of the uh, Big Five Simulation Series. We are 10 years into the future. Um, just a quick reminder, we have the following leagues loaded up. It is England all the way down to the Conference North and South, France down to National 2, Germany to Free Liga, Italy to Serie C and Spain down to the Federation second division. So we have got everything loaded up. Um, the plan is of again, obviously to go to a hundred years, um, mainly because I get a feeling this will slow down probably in about another 10 years time or so due to regens and everything, but we'll, we'll wait and see how that goes and that might change. But uh, let's get straight into um, the leagues. We will go for every league as, as we did with Scotland. Um, so we'll start in England. This is what England looks like in a moment. So most of the usual suspects out there. Wouldn't say there's a random team in there. Let's go to the championship. So we obviously got Everton are going down. Salford. League one. So again the usuals. Chef Wednesday in there, we can wreck some up to League One. Have they got any further than that? Uh, yeah, they were in the championship, but got relegated. Uh, League Two. Again, not really much in a moment, but I want to. Oh, yeah, was back into League Two. Okay. I wouldn't expect much to happen in the first 10 years. It's probably going to be about 40 to 50 onwards where it starts to get really interesting. Uh, National League, we got Forrest Green back in there, Lewistoft, random one. Berry back up in the conf into the north, Cheltenham, not actually sure what they're doing in the, the, the Conference North, to be honest, um, but they're really good down to the Conference North. Conference South, uh, not many in there at all. So, all the usual suspects in the Conference North and South there. We'll go back up to the Premiership to have a look at the winners. So, again, usual suspects, Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal. Uh, Liverpool, Man City with four each and Arsenal two. And pretty much Liverpool, Man City for a top three, apart from one season where Chelsea and two seasons, Chelsea and Spurs finished third. But that's about it. So have a look at the winners of all the other divisions. Um, yeah, about the standard. So we go on to the FA Cup. Middlesbrough, okay, winning the FA Cup. Um, Bournemouth. So two slightly random teams there. Middlesbrough and Bournemouth winning that League Cup. Middlesbrough winning the league cup. Okay, different, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's a bit random. Let's move on to France now. And um, yeah, PSG within every single league one apart from one, which was Monaco. We'll do the same again. We'll just have a look at the teams. Wouldn't really say there's many. Random ones in there, to be honest. Same for Liga 2. More Pellier, baby. And National. And then we go through National 2. Uh, National 2 sections. Obviously, none of the uh, reserves can get promoted. That's what I was looking for. Um, so let's have a look at the French Cup. A um, couple of different winners there. FC Nantes, Saint Etienne, Rennes, PSG, obviously, winning most of them. So, have a quick look at. Um, whoops, didn't mean to go England, France. So, have a look at the um, other winners, past winners. Bordeaux. Uh, oh, Xergo, Renegade International, okay. 
But yeah, most of the uh, reserves winning those ones. And obviously we've seen the French Cup. So let us move on to Germany and the Bundesliga. Any randoms in there? Nope. Bundesliga 2. Mines maybe. Schalke still in the two. Union Berlin actually down into the Bundesliga 2. Um, and then Free Liga. Um, no, to put it bluntly. But um, let's have a look at the winners then. So Bayern being absolutely dominant. dominant. Um, Dortmund getting a couple of seconds and thirds. Leipzig getting seconds and thirds. Wolfsburg. Leverkusen getting a couple. Bundesliga 2. And then the third for free Liga. And then the Pokal. Uh, Bayern again won most of it. Dortmund won one. Stuttgart, Leipzig. Paderborn gets the final twice. Elversburg getting there as well. Okay. Um, most of the usual suspects. Let's get to Italy. And Serie A. Let's have a look at the teams in there. Uh, Pascar and Pisa coming up. Reggiana, Salato. A couple of um, new teams in there, which is quite good. Serie B. Cagliari, maybe, getting renegade. Salonitana, Sampdoria still down in Serie B. Serie C, that's the champions bit. And then here's Serie C and B. And C. We'll go back up. Ooh, too far. Go back up to the past winners. So Juventus winning it. Panfrope, which is also known as Napoli. In turn AC. So Juventus being dominant again. Serie B. Oh, Udinese have just come back up. I think that's Monza, Brianza. I think. Yeah, it's Monza. Um, but yeah, Sampdoria won the title, they've been really good since. Serious C. No big names. Well, well player, I suppose you could say, got really good Serious C. So many old guard like Barry, Padova, Perugia, Pescara, Ascoli, Vicenza, all form, Brescia, all former. Serie A sides. And then we got a Coppa Italia. Uh, Juventus winning the most. But both Milan clubs. Inter being second with third. Both Milan clubs. Napoli, Lazio. Atalanta making the final two years in a row. So that is Italy. Let's finish off in Spain. Any randoms in there? Um, not that I would say, no. Serie B, we got Deportivo. Up into Serie B. Getafe. A couple of small clubs. We got Malaga, Mallorca. Most of the old school teams. First Division Federation. First Federation Division. Or oh, used to be League of Pro, I think. I might get out of the wrong way around, or I might even be early, actually, thinking about it. Um, any interesting names in there? Apart from the B team, so no. B division? Uh, I Bifa, maybe. Racing Santander is back down there. But no, let's have a look at the second divisions. Probably not going to recognise many teams in here. Or Compostela. Uh, nothing else there. Free. Nope. I can't remember. Any, I can't remember how many divisions are. Five, I think. Uh, here's Group Four. And then Group Five. So nothing in there. 
Yeah, it was after that was cup. So we'll have a look at past winners. Uh, Real Madrid dominating it. Barcelona one win. And Villarreal actually winning the title as well. Barcelona finishing second in most seasons. Apart from when Villarreal, when they won it obviously, and Villarreal winning it, they finished third. Atletico Madrid majority in third, apart from three seasons with Barca, Real Sociedad, and Villarreal. We'll have a look at the second division winners. Levante twice. Espanol three times. They seem to be a bit of a yo-yo club. I think that's to win. That's for the overall winner. Uh, so we've got any big names in there? Deportivo winning it there. Season three by the looks of it. And then the second divisions. Not really seen anyone interesting so far. Uh, nope. Um, let's go on to the Spanish Cup. We have a mixture. Real Madrid, Atletico winning two. Barcelona winning a couple. Sociedad, Sevilla. Um, Alaves and Vigo making finals. Osasuna. Um, no, not really any major shock so far in the 10 years, apart from maybe Middlesbrough winning the Cups, maybe Bournemouth as well, or the others. I wouldn't say there's anything major in that, uh, apart from maybe Elversburg getting to the final of the um, Pokal. Um, I'm not really expecting anything to happen for, I reckon we might start to see something in the next 10 years. It's after that where I think we'll see big changes. Uh, but let's get to Europe. Let's start in the Conference League. I'll work our way up. So, Conference League. Yeah, Real Mallorca. Being young boys, which is random. Slavia Prague. But interesting how every single trophy so far is won by the leagues loaded up. I think that's going to be it for like 100 years, I reckon. Conf Europa League. Same again, pretty much all the same. The fact that every runner-up is also from those leagues as well. Only Prague and Nantes, not Nantes, Young Boys. That's kind of awkward. Prague and Young Boys being the only ones not from the loaded up to get in the Conference League Finals. Champions League Finals. Man City, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Barca, PSG, Arsenal. I was going to say your usual suspects. I wouldn't probably put Arsenal in there. But then... Finals, PSG, Inter, again, Tottenham, maybe wouldn't put them in there, but um, pretty much a standard, as you'd expect, to be honest. We've got 30 finals, and only two finals have teams in there that are outside of these big five. Um, again, 10 years in, I, I'm going to be honest and say it's probably going to be like that for the entire length of time. It wouldn't surprise me if we had, like, out of all the finals we do, which is going to be about three, uh, a lot, basically. Um, trying to work out how many it's going to be. About 300, I think. There will be, um, I don't reckon there'll be, like, more than 20 finals where of teams outside. Probably wants to say 10, to be honest, but I think there might be. Um, but that is Europe. Let's have a look at the Euros. And we have Holland, France and Belgium. That's a little bit of a, sure, a surprise to me, to be honest. That only one uh, winner is actually from these loaded up leagues. And then again, I suppose they are like going to nurture a load of um, players from the overseas as well. So it's, I'm still a little bit surprising. And the big one, the World Cup, Italy current holders, and Spain. So yes, there, there you go. We've got only we got three Euros, only one being won by the Big Five, but then both World Cups have been won by the Big Five with Italy and Spain, and you've got Holland as runners up. 
Um, but yeah, Italy and Spain winning both of those. Um, but that I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I will. I, I, well, I'm going to say I'm, I'm saying that as if I've decided yet. Not sure what I'm going to do. Like I said, I'm either going to do a. I'm going to do a trophy count like I did last time, 100. percent It's just whether I do the individual leagues. Uh, as I said, if I do that, I will only do the Premiership and FA Cup for England because none of the others have League Cups, so I won't bother including that. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to do one page for each nation or I would do one for each nation and then one for Europe and one for internationals or I think potentially what I might do is, or the other option is basically we're going to have a domestic one, but it's actually going to be the overall trophy count for all five nations. Uh, I.e., I, it would just it would just show the overall counts for each country, and then one for international and one for Europe. I haven't actually quite decided yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes in a hundred years. I'm quite interested to see more Europe-wise and. Um, international wise what difference it's going to make we all know that pretty much the majority of the time england it does quite well and yet in the 10 years not they've not made a euro or a world cup so it'll be quite surprising to see it'll be quite interesting to see whether they even make a final um, but that is it for this episode guys um, i'm looking forward to doing this um, leave some likes come some leave some likes comment and subscribe and until next time, when we will be 20 years in the future, as always, take it steady.